Hey everyone, Editor Matt here. I just wanted to come on to let you guys know that during the recording of this episode, Mark's audio file kind of messed up. So, in light of that, uh, we've been having to resort to the original crappy Discord quality that we've been using uh, for a while. So, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, see you later. Hi. Uh, hell, hello. Wow. What an intro. You know what? I think this has to be our best one yet. You know? Welcome to the Trial Over It podcast episode. Oh. It, uh, we're, we're thinking it's episode nine, but we've recorded so many of them, we just, we're just not sure anymore. So, welcome to this new episode of the Triumvirate Podcast, everyone. Exactly. You know, it's uh, we took a week break. So we, we didn't we didn't record last week. So, um, yep. Now recording this weekend. It's pretty epic. I gotta say. Uh, yeah, I I gotta say it's pretty epic. You know, it was like a long time ago since we last recorded an episode. What was it like? Uh, like like twenty years. 30 years, like 30 years, 40 years, 50, 50, you know, uh, 3000 years, you know, it, it, it feels like a really long time since we did it. And, you know, now, now I've come to think, um, this is epic. What we're yeah, doing right epic. now, this is, you epic. know, this is, you're right. You're right. You know, when you're right, you're right. Exactly. 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 Right, right. Eggs. Exactly. Egg, egg, Tilly. Exact Tilly. Well, so. Matt, how are you? I I'm good. How how about you, my man? Tired today. You know, yeah. You know, today's been a been a pretty uh pretty tired day. I mean, I just freaking woke up. Yeah. So. so you're not there yet. You're not with it. I'm not freaking with it yet, bro. You know. Jeez, a lot of stuff happened in the week. Um, the Nintendo Direct happened. Oh yeah, yeah, that happened. So we could talk about that, I guess. I mean, if if that's what the people want, if if they I want guess. us to talk about some Nintendo Direct or something. Which game are you excited about, or games? Um, you know, uh, I really, I mean, honestly, I kind of, um, I didn't actually see the Direct myself. I was just kind of like with a. Uh, with your reaction and like, you know, uh, reactions of some others, like I was kind of like wow. clued in on what's going on. Wow. But I mean, by what I've seen, uh, the Kirby game looks really fun. Wow. And you call yourself a Nintendo fanboy. I know. Wow. I know. I'm, I'm going to just going to preface all of the fucking cancellation on Twitter by yeah. saying that, Go you ahead. know, Nintendo is I, you might as well cancel yourself now. Just go ahead and do it. You know what? I might as well. So, by the time this podcast episode airs, I'm just going to verbally announce that I'm canceled. I'm canceled. I'm canceled, anyway. everyone. But anyways. Anyways. um, Yeah, I'm excited for that Kirby game. I'm really excited for, uh, like, uh, Portal. Oh yeah! Yep, I'm really excited for that. Finally coming on the Switch, my man. And No Man's Sky. Ah, oh. yes, dude. Finally, be able to play it properly. Man, fucking just playing that game, but mobile. Just yeah, on the go. Ah, oh, I can't. I can't believe it's happening. So yeah, that's happening, and oh jeez. Um, <clears throat> so uh, Guild of Sunner got taken down by Nintendo, but no one talks uh, about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, um, yeah, that that definitely happened. Um, yeah, if you don't know the uh, Guild of Sunner channel on YouTube, uh, was been going around about like about. 10 to 12 years around there yeah. and they would 
upload uh, like the original soundtrack to several several games, like just various games and whatnot. But yep. um, yeah, just last week, yeah, they got a whole bunch of copyright strikes on their channel. But the thing is, Mark, you know, have you seen going around that, um, like, apparently it wasn't even Nintendo? It's just somebody that acted as Nintendo? Well, you know what? I have, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it actually is Nintendo. Is it really? It is. It was confirmed by YouTube, by hand, by a real person. Shit, man. Oh, that sucks. Because apparently content ID and copyright strikes are two different things. So if it's a content ID, I believe I got this right, maybe reverse. But a content ID come it can come from anyone. Mm. Um, and a copyright strike comes from a company. So whenever it was content ID for you know the three thousand plus videos, it said just it just said Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what people were, were asking about. They were wondering, why isn't it Nintendo, Co., whatever the fuck. Like, their normal thing when it comes to, you know, copyright strikes. But that's the thing. He didn't get copyright strikes. He got content ID'd. Oh, okay. And um, that's what got him taken down. Now, I could got that in reverse, but that stays, that's basically the gist of it, is that they were banking on the fact that I just said Nintendo and not Nintendo Co., LTD, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, I don't know who was the first to point that out, but usually yeah, it's like Nintendo of America, Nintendo Co. LTD or you know Yeah. XYZ yeah, I mean, ABQ. I mean and yeah, it sucks. But also, I mean, it's Nintendo. They're they've they've been known to do this stuff on YouTube. Yeah. 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 You know. I mean, this isn't the first time this has ever happened. It, so. It's it's such a sad sight because, yeah, they've taken down, like, a whole bunch of, like, fan stuff as well. Like, fan-made games. Yeah, exactly. Because it's just like, um, this is our license and uh, you cannot do this. We're going to shut this down immediately. Ooh. We're Nintendo. We're, you're making money off of something that we made? Fuck you. Yeah, you know what? Fuck you. How about that? <laughs> But no, most of those rumors were just generated by Nintendo fanboys, and let me tell you, I like Nintendo as much as the next guy. I like the Switch. It's one of my favorite consoles. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like Nintendo, but look, we just gotta admit that they're a shitty company. They aren't your friend. They aren't buddy-buddy with you. They are a company. Mm -hmm. And that's that's just it. You know, they... And they protected their assets which is really stupid i'm not saying it's not stupid but yeah. that's just you know that's just how it is you know yeah they they are completely a corporation and nothing else you know I mean, that that that's what it is at the end of the day i mean they of course they handle the situation whenever it comes to like um like fan made stuff or just you know just just their assets you know, that other people want to share. It's, they're the worst at it. They're completely just despicable when it comes to, like, ever, like, sharing. Or, yeah, you know, I think some people, like, uh, got, like, either striked or, or, or something just for even, uh, showing like gameplay of a game. I think yeah. that happened before. Yeah, that's happened before, which is really bizarre. Yeah, just doing a fucking let's play of a game, and then all of a sudden you get like a cease and desist from Nintendo. You, like what? Yeah, that's the thing, man. Nintendo, they're they're very strict about their stuff. It's very strange. You know, I I just don't get it. But you know, uh, you know I mean? it, it's so funny because like with then then you flip the coin and the other side with Sega and there they allow people to do like whatever the fuck you have so many fucking like so Sonic fan games and 
just a whole bunch of other like projects out there that like you know fans have made and Sega's just like eh yeah go ahead sure yeah do what you want I mean that's how fucking Sonic Mania was formed yeah, you know I mean yeah it's just <sighs> it, it's shitty and I'm not saying it's not but I mean that that's just the reality of it is that Nintendo's a shitty company yeah, they they don't treat their fans very well and People expect Nintendo to treat them like family when, in reality, they are just a company. That, that, that's all it is at the end of the day, really. So, it sucks. But listen, right now, I can search on YouTube. I can, I'm going to do it right now. I want to search on YouTube Mario Music. Oh, boy. It's like zero results. <laughs> no. There's plenty. Really? Yes. Just everywhere. Mario music. Yes. Wow. Like, the, like, and I searched up a Zelda music playlist. What and guess what? Guess what? It's on there. What the fuck? So, the fact that Gilvasoner got taken down is not the end of the world. If you want to listen to Nintendo music, you can still find it on YouTube. But that just makes no fucking sense. I mean, like, if all of these other guys, you know, are pretty much, like, getting, like, you know, scot-free of, you know, keeping keeping the, uh, like, music up on YouTube, then why did they target Gilva Sunner? Like, what? Um, you know, I really don't know. I don't know if it's because they chose not to monetize those songs, like the people that are, like, uploading them. Or, I, mean, I don't know if that's a choice you can make. I have no idea, honestly. But, I mean, see, it's not the end of the world. And I guess Gilda Center got targeted because he's big. I guess, yeah. Like he was he was big. Yeah, I and mean, he, like, um, he was uh, pretty, you know, infamous or famous, you know, with uh, when it comes to, like, you know, video game music and everything. Yeah. Like right here, there's this channel called Video Game Soundtracks. They have 39.9k subscribers, and they have Mario Kart, Super Mario 3, Portal 2, Pac-Man, God of War, Donkey Kong Country. They have plenty of video game soundtracks that you can listen to right now. Man. <sighs> so, I don't know. I don't know why they targeted Guild Center. But it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. Um, it sucks. Because that was pretty much his livelihood. Was doing that for the people. I'm not disagreeing on that. Yeah. I'm just disagreeing on the fact that you'll never be able to find video game music on YouTube ever again. Because you will. Exactly. It's there. You just have to search it up. You have to go to a different channel. So. Yep. That's my spiel on the whole Gilda Center situation. I know it happened about a week ago. But it's been a week. So. Yep. And uh, I, ju I just want to add to the whole thing is, like, um, how do you feel knowing that um, Siva Gunner, you know, is pretty much uh, the only thing left alive, huh. you know, in, in remnants of uh, Gilva Center? Well, you know, Silva Gunner gets away with it because they're parody reps. Yeah. yeah and I'm true. very happy about that. I'm very happy that... Uh, that Silver Gun is still around. Yeah, and I, I'm willing to bet it's been like forever since I went back on their channel, but like, I'm willing to bet they're still posting like, fucking like five thousand rips. Yeah, like an hour. Yeah, I'm subscribed to them, and they have like fucking like twelve to twenty videos on my feed. God, Lord, it's it's kind kind of crazy. How many people do you think are a part of that, man? Well, see, that's the thing. You know, it's a small group of people that actually, you know, control the channel. But anyone and everyone can submit a rip. So. Oh, man. So me and you could submit a rip and it potentially be uploaded onto the Silver Gunner, Silver Gunner channel. Yeah. That, so that's, that's insane. That's how they're still able to go, to keep going. <laughs> so. Oh God, you you and yeah. I should make a rip. I've been thinking about it, but you know, I don't really have a good way to make music right now. 
So yeah, I really have to think about like what epic meme I would. Uh, yeah, I would right. Do. You I do mean, granddad. Yeah, I was about to say like, uh, yeah, would I just do like a granddad? Uh, granddad. 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 Flintstones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, back to the direct. Um, a little fun little game called Klonoa. Oh shit! Yeah, that's right. I heard about that. Klonoa one and two is coming out, and I am so excited. I never played the first one, but I played the hell out of the second one on the PS2, and I yeah. am excited. I remember seeing I... uh like somebody play some Klonoa like years and years ago. Yeah. Um and it looked a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean it is. It it's it really is. Um it's cute. It's cute. And and funny mm. and smart. Yes. Just like your mama. Oh well I think Wait a minute. Oh wait a minute. Right here. Hold your hold your horses there, partner. My mama is actually a very smart woman. My mama is actually dumb. Oh, mama. Sorry if you hear yeah. dogs in the background. My dogs are out, and they are. They're barking up a storm. Oh man, I don't. I don't even hear them. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't hear them at all. You can process them out later. Yeah. With your editing magic. Uh, what I'll do is that uh, I'm going to go through every single, like, bark, and I'm just going to just take it out, and then I'm just going to do some surgery. There there we go. There you go. That's That works. You want to do surgery on my dogs? Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's going to be epic. Well, all right. That's fine. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I respect your permission. Well, I have been watching on YouTube. I have been getting back into the Game Grumps. Oh, really? You've been the watching old, some of that? The old G Rumps. And I've been watching them play <clears throat> Don Con Ronta. Oh. Have you, ever, have you ever seen gameplay of Don Con Ronta? I have not. All I know it is the is, name. It is. How can I explain this? And people out there who are fans of the series will agree. The stories in the game, the story in the game is great. It's like really good, but the gameplay aspect of it is awful. Oh, it's really bad. What the like, hell? Like, like they'll. It's it's the craziest thing. Like the characters in the story will repeat things several times. What? It's like it's like, oh this person was killed with a pipe. And then like it'll come up saying like they were killed with a pipe, and then another character will say, Yeah, they were killed with a pipe. And oh, your character will say, I think they were killed with a pipe. And it's like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's like I get it. <laughs> hmm, my deduction skills tell me that this guy was killed with a pipe. Mm. That's exactly what it is. Oh, God. It's... it's so bizarre, but it's really fun to watch. It's really, the story is really good. I like it. It's it's pretty good. It's a funny little anime game. I don't know why, but that made me think of, like, that sort of situation in a game like L.A. Noir. Where it's yeah. just like, could you imagine just, like, I'll just go into like these suspects and just being like, "Hmm, how do you think?" Uh, uh, or like, he he was murdered with a pipe. Yeah, I think he was murdered with a pipe. Hmm, hmm. Me, Cole Phillips, hmm. writing down he was murdered with a pipe. Murdered by a pipe. I'm gonna ask this guy if he was murdered by a pipe, and I'm gonna use my <laughs> liar's detection to see if he was murdered by a pipe. To see if he was murdered <laughs> with a pipe. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Just to be sure. I'm going to go up to this dead body and I'm going to ask him. If he's... <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse Were you me. murdered by a pipe? 
Why, yes, I was murdered with the pipe. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Who did it? It was my own mama. It okay. was your mama. <laughs> <laughs> your mama. <laughs> That's it. That's the last thing they say. <laughs> If I ever run a D and D campaign and uh, <laughs> someone can't speak to the dead, which speak to the dead is, you know, you can uh, you can ask five questions to the person who just died. Yeah, and I want to make sure I'm gonna make sure that if one of those questions is just right, I'm gonna make them say, "Yo, mama," and then that's it. That's the fifth <laughs> question. It's totally unhelpful. <laughs> Yeah, after he's like, yo, mama. And then and it's just it. like, all right, roll for initiative. All right, roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> the specter grows angry. <laughs> These nuts. These oh. nuts. Oh. d is pretty fun. I want to do a campaign again with me, Hugh, and Funk. I mean, I know it's kind of hard to play it with two people, but yeah. you know what? It's possible. You just got to adjust some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd say so. Yeah, I mean, we I had a blast whenever, like, yeah, you you last uh, set one up. That was like, shit, what was like oh. a couple of years ago? Yeah, what? it was a couple of years ago. And I tried to run another campaign with a group of friends that I... I, I gathered together from the super mega cord oh and, wow um we only ran one session and that was to wow um, it's a shame dude it's you remember shame. that um one like that one D uh little campaign that we were doing like years ago with like you me yes. funk and like some of our other friends yes and, I missed that. You know, we had we had a thing going like in that campaign. Like we 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 had a story going on and everything. But yeah, you know, that's just the problem with most D&D games, you know. I mean, you can't um a lot of D&D campaigns just stop because of people needing to do stuff or life getting in the way. Mhm. Mm you know, not every show, not every D&D can be like critical role or high rollers or you know stuff like that you know yeah i Dang. mean that's it's, it's pretty that's what it really is like you know it, it comes to like the uh uh everybody's schedules the, yeah that's that's what uh because if one guy you know i don't know if if they have work on this day where everybody's off you know it just kind of just really kind of slows down the process I mean, and everything. Yeah, it does. And I mean the the DM can play that character if it's just for like a day, if it's just one guy. But if it's multiple people, then I mean that's kind of hard to do. Yeah. You know? So, uh, eh. All right, you're playing as Shagaroth and your character, all right? All right. Have fun. Have fun. Mm. You're playing two characters at once. Uh, but I don't even know how he controls. Oh, well. Uh, it's too bad. It's, it's not my problem. All right, let's start the campaign. We're battling on Yo Mama. Yo Mama. Yo Mama's the final boss. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know why, but just, like, doing that voice just then made me think of kind of like, what if there was a super redneck D&D &D fucking... <laughs> Holy yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, my name's Skeever Tail. Um, I was born in 1985, and uh, <laughs> I'm a mage. I am a mage. I am a magic user. <laughs> magic missile. Magic missile. Magic missile. I, I cast fireball at level <laughs> ten. That's not even a real spell. I cast fireball. Look, 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 that's some good shit right there. Yeah, that would be great. We should do that. We should do Red Knight D&D. What would they do? Uh, well, 
Oh, let's see. They'd probably be based in like some sort of southern country, just not <laughs> anywhere in particular. And you know, they try to rescue the farm or something like that. You know, just something stupid. We gotta rescue the farm and save the crops. <laughs> you gotta save the crops. <laughs> gotta save the crops. Mr. DM, I just like to say I packed a fat lip and I'm ready to go to dessert. <laughs> 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 oh my god that's his power that's a, that's a special power <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a character classification if he packs a fat lip full of skull wintergreen <laughs> then he fucking goes berserk if he gets any right. other bread though then it won't work he gets, yeah right it's gotta be skull <laughs> wintergreen and after after he can he go it's uh he's hasted for two turns, but <laughs> if he swallows the spit, then it's a negative effect. <laughs> and he can spit it onto people for an acid effect. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's what one big buff farmer is like a two-handed warrior, like a fighter, and that's yeah. what he does. <laughs> that's his special power. Yeah, you fucking roll a d twenty just on how the uh, fucking uh, on how, how it goes. accurate the dip spit is. <laughs> yeah, if you roll like a one or something, then he swallows it. He just swallows it, and that's what it is. It's a negative effect for a turn. <laughs> If it's a natural twenty, he spits in like his eye or something, like the other <laughs> eye. Yeah, man. Oh, it that's works. perfect. That is perfect. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> it worked. It, it would did. work. It would totally. It would totally be a a real thing, man. You'd have the fighter who packs a fat lip and a paladin who is just about Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's like his thing like he just preaches the word he doesn't fight he just uses a bible and that's it have you boys learned about the preachings of jesus christ <laughs> that's it what? jesus christ is with you cletus why the hell are you even in our group <laughs> cletus <laughs> <laughs> cletus is the dad yeah, that's the fighter it, yeah, he. Oh, Cletus is the fighter. Yeah, yeah. And then, then you got like Jimbo, um, and then yeah, like Skeever. Yeah, Cletus, Jimbo, Skeever, and uh, Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Yep, that's a whole fucking group right there, my man. And I, and I want the DM just to be like, "All right, we go <laughs> down the dirt road to the farm, and you see at the farm." <laughs> You Three dogs that are just acting up. They're acting up a storm. What do you do? I'd like to cast fireball. <laughs> I like it. yeah. What it what it does is that yeah he he drinks a bottle of fireball, and yeah. then he gets a lighter and then just fucking just That's spits crazy. out fire. Yeah. <laughs> I like to cast fireball. Boo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What are y'all doing, you dang dogs? Oh, those silly mutts. You silly mutt! Mutt! You silly mutt! You silly litter mutt! I love my dogs. You know what? They're pretty alright dogs. Alright? I, I will admit it. Pretty alright? Yeah, they're pretty, pretty alright. All right. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yup, 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 yup. I said that, <laughs> and it came out of my mouth. Uh, yeah. Oh. D and T. Pretty D fun. D and D is pretty fun. I mean, um, D's nuts. You oh. said it. You said oh. it, my man. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs>
That was pretty funny, Mark. I really enjoyed that joke. That was actually a really good joke, Mark. I mean, you kind of like cut me off, but you know, I mean, whatever. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. But you know, speaking of D and D, I've been watching you play Elder Scrolls Oblivion on uh, your channel. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash MattBEXP. Oh, stop. Stop it. And I gotta say, man, that game, when you're thinking about RPGs like D&D and stuff, that game is really, like, there, I'd say. Because, mm -hmm. like, there's so many things that's like D&D. Yeah. Yeah, I would and say it, so, yeah. And then you get a game like Skyrim, which is it's still an RPG, but it's not as in depth. Yeah, you know. I mean, I I hate to to say this about your most beloved game, but yeah, I I gotta say, bro. I mean, from playing Oblivion for like a hot minute, you know, I I gotta say, I mean. Skyrim is a really fun game. It's a really, yes. really good game. Yes. But as an RPG, I don't know. It just seems kind of just like yeah, it's watered like down. Action. Yeah, it's more it's like an action. action. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. I, you know, sorry another run of Skyrim recently. Yeah. Just, just for the heck of it. You know, I had my freaking awesome battle mage, which. Oh, I'm yeah. Let me go back to that, because God, let me tell you, disintegrating people with lightning, it's pretty fucking awesome, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah. I gotta, gotta say that. I mean, one of the best, really. I mean, yeah, that that uh, character that uh, you've been rolling with, I mean, that motherfucker's fierce, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, is, isn't that that, uh, that goddess that you were... Um... Yes. That was, yeah. She's, <laughs> She's like an evil goddess. An evil goddess. She is the archmage of the College of Winterhold and a vampire, along with her wife, who's also a vampire. My God. I just fucking go around Skyrim and just wreck shop. <laughs> you don't have great. to worry about the dragons anymore. But you there are no dragons. There, there are, are no dragons. dragons. Wow! In my in my game, I haven't even started that quest to even spawn dragons yet. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> There's... So by the time dragons come around, I'm just gonna fucking eviscerate them. <laughs> just the people of Skyrim are just like, we tried. Now we have dragons. Now we had to go through turmoil and trouble <laughs> with this like, goddess. Yeah. That's definitely something that I do like about all Elder Scrolls games. That you don't have to do the main quest right away. You can just fuck off and do your own shit. Yeah, like honestly, I have no idea how many fucking like side quests there are in Oblivion. Like the whole time, you know, like at the beginning of the last stream, I thought I was doing the fucking main quest. Yeah. But no, apparently not. <laughs> See, fucking... that's the thing. I swear to God, Funk said that the Forlorn Watchman was the main quest. Did he not say that? I I don't remember. I <sighs> honestly... it was in a it was he said it in the Twitch chat, and I thought that's what he said. But no, apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. So whatever. Whatever, man. Yeah, I mean, like, I, that's what I thought I was doing. You know what? Screw it. You know, like, I I have a horse now. I have... You do. Uh, uh, is it really your horse, or did you technically steal it because it was from a dead person? Like I said, I have a horse now. Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Uh, I mean, like, you know, it was just sitting there, dude. It was just, you know, minding its yeah. own business. And then all of a sudden, I mean, here comes me. I mean, it's not being used. The prettiest, whitest orc you've ever seen. You are the whitest orc. <laughs> like, damn. With fucking pink hair, dude? Yeah, man. <laughs> you know what? That's one thing. That's one thing I wish Skyrim had. I wish you could do funky shit like that. Like, you can make your face look kind of weird in Skyrim, but you can't make it to that level. Yeah, like... 
like you can make slight variations in Skyrim, but fucking you have, like, oblivion hair. Yeah. You can just go all out in oblivion, bro. It's crazy. Ugh. You know, speaking of RPGs, I'm going to ask you this. Me and Funk had this conversation the other day. Do you think there's going to be another Fallout game? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good question. Because, I mean, Fallout 76 was a bomb. Mm-hmm. I mean, so... Fallout 4 was basically kind of like a modernized Fallout to compared yeah. to, like, the older games. You know, it's... I, I think it still holds up pretty well with, uh, you know, like, you know, the modern games today. I don't know. I mean, I played Fallout 4 when it came out, and, I mean, I liked it. I just, I guess I'm just not a Fallout fan. I didn't grow up playing, you know, New Vegas or Fallout 3, which yeah. I played New Vegas, and I love New Vegas. Oh, yeah, I played the shit out of New Vegas, bro. I'm like, New Vegas is great. Mm-hmm. But um, I just don't know if they're going to come up with like a Fallout Five or anything like that. I I don't know. The thing about it know. is, is just like when it comes to talking about developers like making a new game in a running series, it's just like what could they do in yeah, the right. newest title? Because I mean, I I don't remember exactly who I was talking with at the time. I might have been talking with you. I don't remember. But whenever, going back to the Nintendo Direct, whenever uh, they announced the new uh, uh, courses for Mario Kart. Yeah. You know, and then, like, of course, all the Nintendo fanboys on Twitter was just like, um, I would much rather prefer a new Mario Kart. Why didn't they just give me one? Yeah. But, I remember saying like um, a while ago, like whenever it was going on, it's just like, what could they do in a new Mario Kart? Like, because when yeah. it comes to like, you know, Mario Kart Seven, I think that's when they introduced like the like anti gravity kind of courses and shit. Um, Mario Kart Eight, it's just like you know Mario Kart for the Switch, and it's got all pretty much like the the courses and you know pretty much everything you could do I think, basically I, I think that's the problem that people have is that you know Mario Kart 8 came from the Wii U that's true that was, yeah. you know the Wii U came out you know years ago and Mario Kart 8 came out near the end of the Wii U cycle and then we got ported to the Switch and I mean I don't know I played Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U I liked it I'm just not that big of a Mario Kart fan, re like a newer Mario Kart fan. Yeah. Um, I like Mario Kart 64. Oh yeah, that's that shit's classic, bro. Um, and I can see where people's frustrations are about wanting a Mario Kart Nine, but like you said, I mean, what else could they come up with? Yeah, I mean, I guess originally or like new original tracks, of course. Um, I mean, is there really a different way to drive? I mean, <laughs> exactly, I mean, man. They already got flying and anti gravity. Where are they going to do? Like, have boats? You know, I don't know. That, 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 that actually, might be that might pretty that, cool, that, actually. That might sound pretty cool. You yeah. get, like, a like a, like a a water course or something. Yeah. Or, you like, know, you drive your cart over water and it transforms into, like, a boat. That would be actually pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Now that I think about it, that would be cool. All right. We need to go to Mr. Nintendo and pitch this Mr. idea. Yeah. Exactly. We do. I agree. We need boats. We need boats. We need to change it. Mario Kart and boat. We uh, need it now. But you know, back to the Fallout thing. I think, I think the reason why the Elder Scrolls is so much more better than Fallout is because there's so much more lore behind the Elder Scrolls than there is the Fallout. Like to Fallout. Yeah. Fallout is all right. Nukes. They blew up the world, and now a couple of you survived. Have fun. Yeah, have fun at the end. But yeah. Elder Scrolls, I mean, as a fucking, like, like, dictionary's worth of lore. Yeah, it's actually insane. I, I couldn't, in my lifetime, like, sit down and just, like, 
learn all of the lore behind the Elder Scrolls, dude. I mean, I've listened to videos about the lore of Elder Scrolls, and I'm like, how the fuck? How the hell did you even know this stuff? Yeah, how is this knowledge? <laughs> like, did they just like read all the books in fucking Skyrim? Like, I, more more power to you, but that ain't for me. What if somebody just like the the guy responsible for like writing books? What if he just got so tired of just like typing away? That he was just like, okay, you know what? This book's just going to be fucking just gibberish. It's just going to be whatever. It's... Yeah, there are books that are just gibberish. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. I believe it. Because <laughs> I, I could not have that be my job. Just like no. writing the person responsible for writing all the books in this video game. And there's like a Ugh. billion books. It's like, you know, the essays that you write in college, but like 10 <laughs> times worse. Uh, 10 times worse, yeah. Well, I will say, though, I am uh, playing Ocarina of Time once again. Oh, I see. This time on the Switch, and I am on the fast track to complete it 100%. Oh, shit. You, you've beaten it 100% before, haven't you? Oh, yeah, I've beaten it 100% like three times. I've beaten it 100% on the N64, an emulator, the Wii U version, and I'm going to be on the Switch version. Hell yeah, man. So, hmm. yeah. I like torture. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, you can't have anybody argue that it's not your favorite game, bro. You're right. You're right. They have they have no leg to stand on. So all you Ocarina of Time haters out there, hey, fuck you. I fuck you. I've I've beat you a hundred percent like a thousand times, bro. Fuck you. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of, I guess, like an equivalent to a game that the uh, I've I've done the same, that that sort of thing. Um. I guess Sonic Adventure 2? I mean, like, yes, yeah. I, I, I talk about that that game a lot, but it's the only really, like, childhood game that, um, you know, really, really comes to mind that I just have the most memories with, like, during, like, my mid-childhood. Yeah, I agree. You know. Mama Sonic Adventure, which you're going to be playing today. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I am. Which means by the time that this uh, this podcast uploads, uh, it's gonna be, I'll be long right. finished with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Oh well. Yeah, it's it's so weird, man. It's just like you know, we're talking about like the things that are happening right now, but like nobody will really like hear it until like weeks ahead of time. Yeah, and that's something we're talking to the future. We're talking to the future. Hello, future guys. How Hello. are you doing? Hello. 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 All right, Matt. I think we're at to end this podcast a little early, unfortunately, because I got to do stuff and all that. But I want to leave you off with this question. Okay. If we were sitting together and we hung up with each other every day, right? Mm-hmm. And all right. So that's the preface of it. I want your honest opinion. How many times would I have to throw up on you for you to get mad at me? Ooh, that that's a good question. So if so, we were like just hanging out like every single day, you and I had our own little spots on the couch every single day playing video games and shit. Yes. And I threw up on you every single day. How many days would it take for you to get mad at me? Hmm. I don't know, man. I I'm a very laid back person. I mean, probably like the first time it would be like you know, so, so, like shock. It's just like, dude, what the fuck? But would you be mad at me though? I would. That's I would be safe. concerned. I'd, concerned. I I wouldn't really be mad. I'd be concerned. All right, but then I did it again the next day. You did it again the next day. There'd be a little bit of annoyance. I'd be like, you fucking, you did it again. But then fast forward to like, 
maybe like two weeks or something. You're still Good doing that Lord. shit. Two weeks? It would take you two weeks to get mad. I'd just be like, I have had it with this shit. I I get puked on every single fucking day. It's been two constant weeks. And I've been waiting for a day where you don't fucking throw your blow your fucking chunks on my fucking jeans. I've been having to wash this shit for fucking like every single day. Wow. Sweet. <laughs> wow. I've heard people say seven days. Seven days? Yeah, just like a week. Oh, well, I mean, like, listen, man. I'm a very tolerant person, <laughs> but I'm not saying that it would just like, like slowly just increase from annoyance to like, all the way up to just like absolutely pissed off that you that you constantly keep doing that. So what you're saying is you like throw up. Anyways, this is the end of the podcast now. Um, thanks for thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks for uh, tuning in to uh, our podcast episode today. Sorry for the shorter episode, but you know we kind of got started late, and I have to go do stuff. And yep, yeah, it is what it is, you know. It really is. It, it it do be what it do be what it do, you know. All right. So, hope you all enjoyed it. I know that I sure did. Do links to our stuff in the description as always. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah. Make sure everyone, everyone listening right now, make sure that you have a good day, or yeah. else I will find or you. Out. All right, everyone. See you guys later. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, chica. Oh, chica. 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 Put you in my mouth, chica. Oh.